guys. One pokey. All right. treats over here for Merlin too because Merlin thinks he needs a cookie too when the dogs go in their house. Oops, I threw Grant's in there. Grant's already in his house. His house is over by uh, by my side of the bed so he's already in his house. Sorry guys the, the camera's crooked. Um, he's over here snoozing so I'm gonna sit a treat in there for him. Shut, oh he woke up. He'll smell his treat in there. Oh, kitten's coming too. And I got some of kitten's uh, kidney care food in here because he can't have uh, regular treats anymore because of his kidney issues. So I've got some of his kidney care food in here for treats. There you go, kitty. So um, one of the questions I wanted to answer today was, do the boys just get in their house when I tell them to? Yes, they do because they know they're going to get a treat. <laughs> Schnauzers and most dogs are very food motivated and you can train them to get in their crates when you need to leave the house. Like I said, Grant, he was already sleeping. Um, so he was already in his crate. He's the only one sometimes that I've got to go find to get in his crate because he um, is losing his hearing. So sometimes he doesn't know I'm in here. Sometimes he's not sure what's going on and I just got to kind of guide him into his crate. But he's the only one that some sometimes has issues getting in his crate. All the other boys, as you can see, run in there. Um, usually they go in the right crate, they did. Um, and uh, sometimes the couple in the middle here, uh, Max and Miggy, sometimes they'll get confused on their crate. I think it's just because it's in the middle. But most of the time, everybody goes into their assigned crate. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me get the camera and I wanted to answer one more question I got on our Facebook uh, Schnauzer Mom page. All right, here's Grant. I uh, just wanted to share where his crate is in case you're a new viewer. His crate is right next to where I sleep. So if he has any issues in the middle of the night, I can hear him if he gets up. So um, one of the other questions I got on our Schnauzer Mom Facebook page was, why do I crate my boys when I leave the house? Um... The number one reason and the only reason I create my boys when I leave the house is I know they're safe in their house. Um, I know that they're, I'm only going to be gone usually if I have to run an errand, I'm probably no longer than an hour. So I know they're just going to lay in there all relaxed like you see right now. And they're just going to take a little snooze and just lay there and wait for me to get home. And I know they're safe. Um... I know they're not going to be getting in, into any trouble, um, getting into anything they shouldn't be, which usually my dogs don't get in trash cans. Um, usually there's nothing laying around in the house that they could get um, that would harm them. But I just have the peace of mind that knowing they are safe in their crates, just taking a little nap and relaxing until I get home. So, um... And one of the other reasons, which was one of the other questions she had was, what if, in, what if in case of emergency and the boys are in their crates and you need to get to them? Um, God forbid when I, if I'm out and about or my husband are out run, and I are out running errands and say our house catches on fire, which our neighbors have our phone, my husband's phone number, um, or if emergency services got a hold of us somehow, we could tell them exactly where the dogs are if there is a chance that they could be saved. Um, we could just say the back bedroom, tell them exactly which windows they could break to get in here and save the dogs and it tell them exactly where the dog crates are and how many dogs are in here. I also have emergency sticker 
on our front door as well, um, stating the same, <coughs> excuse me, of where, how many dogs are in the, how many animals are in the house. Now, kitties, I don't lock up. Um, they would be harder to save, um, but the dogs, um, they can be told exactly where they are because most animals, when a house is on fire, will try to run and hide and it's harder for emergency services or yourself to find them. Um, and if, uh, say in the middle of the night, because usually the only reason the dogs are in their crates when I'm home is because there's either a repairman in the house or if I'm sleeping. Um, so if I'm sleeping and I'm awakened by a smoke alarm, I have windows right here that aren't too far off the ground um, that I can open the window, take the screen out, and I could lean over this ledge here and drop the boys right in the backyard that is completely fenced in. And I know getting in them out this window that they can't run away um, like if I, if I threw them out this window, they'd be out to the side yard and they could just take off because they're scared. The backyard, they know their backyard and they'll compl now they'll be wondering why they're getting thrown out a window, not thrown, but dropped out a window instead of going out the back door. But I know they're safe in the backyard, confined. I can also get out that window myself too. So, um, so that way when I'm sleeping, I don't have to wake up and yell for the dogs to come to me because... If, they're, if there's a fire in the house, they're probably hiding and I'm not going to be able to get to them. Since they're crated here right by me, I know exactly where each one of them are and I can get them outside the window in case of emergency. So um, hopefully that answers the questions of why I crate the boys. If you guys have any other questions, um, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to respond to those as well in a future video. Um, the reason they're created right now um, is because I got to head out to the store and I'm only going to be gone probably. The stores I go to are within a five minute drive of my house. So I'll probably only be gone like 25 minutes just to grab a couple things real quick and then I'll be home and the boys will just take a nap while I'm gone. So <laughs> all right guys um, we will see you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, I'm back from the store, and as, as I was driving to the store, I was thinking, I bet I'm going to get a question about how long is the longest I'll leave them in the crate. <laughs> so I thought I better hop back on here and answer that question. The longest we will leave the boys in their crates, if we have to be out of the house, is three hours. If we're going to be gone longer than three hours, we always make sure either my daughter will be home, my son can come over, um, or if I'm going to be gone by myself longer than three hours, I always make sure my husband's going to be home or be home within that three hours to be able to come and get the dogs out and let them be outside and be out of their crates. So whenever we make any plans to where we're going to be gone for a long period of time, we always make sure there's someone that will be coming here to get the boys out of their crates and get them outside and at least be out for at least a half hour or so um, to sit with them. But I'm going to tell you last year, I don't even think that happened one time. Um, yeah, usually, <laughs> usually someone's always here with the boys. Uh, so, but that is the longest we will leave them in their crates if we're out and about. So thought I'd just jump on and answer that question real quick because I was trying to think of what may come up in the comments. Um, like I said, if you have any other questions that I didn't cover, um, just leave them down below and we'll try to answer them uh, in a future video. All right, guys. Bye.